We yeah. noticed there's a foam pit all right around the corner. And they're not looking, so. Well, Brennan over here is setting up. We're gonna do a little dive into the foam pit. Go for it. <laughs> You're so close to the edge. All right, so I just landed in Greenville. I'm gonna go see what the boys are up to and see what we have to plan out for this shoot. Let's go. What's up? What's up, dude? It's all right. What up? Ready to film? I stick, am ready for stick this. Stick figure battles. This is Stick Figure Battles Part 2. Well, more so, it's the prequel to our Stick Figure Battles video that we made like four years ago. And we're trying to make this thing better. And the way we're gonna do that is with Unreal Engine. We're actually using Unreal Engine to run everything in real time. All the figures you see actually run in a game engine. So we've got Brendan working on that right now as we're trying to figure out how we're gonna utilize the motion capture suits because we're going to Bob's gym. You guys know Bob. He's the guy who does all the flips and all the parkour in our videos. He's got this Ninja Warrior gym and we're gonna go there to try to stress test these motion capture suits out for the beginning part of this video before the war breaks out. So hopefully we can stress test these motion capture suits and everything looks good in the parkour gym. My organized stage just is like, a, okay, just finished the last part, came down, I'm like, ah, oh, so tough. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in the edit, I'll just cheat it, so don't worry. <sighs> wow, dude, that was crazy. Yeah, the, you after got... you get up to like the fifth or sixth one, it, it gets pretty tiring. <laughs> I remember back in the day, we used to have to use that Xbox Connect, and we used it for that gingerbread escape video. We had a motion capture suit in college that we used actually for stick figure battle part one. And now we have these two accessible to us and the technology just come so far in four years. So it's really cool to see how it's progressing and getting easier for people like us to be able to do stuff at a higher level. <laughs> oh yeah, that was so good. Okay, no, but do the trick. One, go! <laughs> so this video is unique in particular because we're running so much of the visual effects stuff before we even shoot anything for the video. We made this top-down setup where we're shooting all of the inserts before and after we have our main production. Everything is possible in our studio here and we can just go quickly, move on. So we got our stuff back from our gym. It's looking absolutely phenomenal, actually. Let me walk you through one of these shots, for instance. We throw it in here, we're able to run it all in Unreal Engine, and then I hit up our friend Jackie, who is a traditional 2D hand animator, and she actually added some of these whoosh effects and the radiating pain that he has when he gets kicked. And it just adds so much more detail that are kind of necessary with the technical and the organic feel. It really just combines to make a really fun experience. And here we have a shot literally where everyone dies and they're just legitimately crawling in their graves. I actually did the motion capture for this one. So I put on the suit and I went on top of this table over there. I, dude, I ate it on one of those falls. Oh, God. And I felt it in my neck. I like, I like kinked my neck a little bit. I do it for the audience. I do it for you guys watching at home because it's worth it. So let's do a deep dive into this graveyard scene. So first off, we got to see Sam just eat it as a stick figure live and unreal. And now that we've already recorded that, it's time to go get that exported so we can composite it later on. So I have our, our Unreal scene right here and pretty much just drop the animation on our rig, get the sequence recorder set up, hit render, and bam, we've already got our final shots for the composite. All right, so we have about 400 boxes that just got delivered uh, for set dressing. We're about to unbox them all like Christmas morning because we have to set the classroom like a real classroom and not, you know, look this sterile. Hi, I'm Lyndon and I'm the art director on the shoot and we have a bunch of packages open, so let's get cracking. Ready for this? Yeah. All right, this is... Get in there. Oh, wow. It's another box. Oh! We got the Letterman jackets for the jocks. But these aren't just nerd glasses. These are super nerd glasses. Hmm. 
So you guys remember these old things from school? You guys might be, some of you might be a little bit too young, but this is how we uh, projected things in the olden times, in the end of the four times. It would be a big old machine like this, and it was kind of loud, and it was very bright, and this comes up like this, and shoots it onto a screen. And uh, it's really good for uh, shadow puppets. Why do we need one of those if we have one of those? That's not fun. This is fun. This is old school, this is nostalgia. And that's what Hollywood is built on these days. So we're here today, we have a pretty extensive shot list. 64 shots. That's totally doable, right? Um, but yeah, we're excited, we're, we're, it's uh, just shy of 10 o'clock, we're about to get rolling. Uh, so, so Crafty Meals has showed up to deliver some breakfast. Oh, So Crafty Eric Meals Reed. here? It's So Crafty, yeah, we got the end. So Crafty, hey. oh this my goodness. Good. My mom and her friend Jeannie. And then they show up and they bring the food. It's really good food. Thanks, Mom. But yeah, that's so crafty. They started a whole thing. They just took our brand name, everything. Just took it over. So and they're better crafty. than us. They're better than us. <laughs> it's going great. You know, I'm just happy to be here. I appreciate everybody around me. And I just, that's what I wish I was so thankful for everything wanted. that's going on right now. <laughs> too nice. <laughs> I hate you, Eric. You're the, you're the better. Worst. That's more like it. Just laugh at this. So two penguins walk into a bar. That must have hurt. <laughs> also, please note. Sam, give us a couple seconds about what's going on today and what you hope to achieve. I hope to achieve all the shots on the list. <laughs> uh, as always. Dear God. <laughs> Dear God, please help us. All right, so in the video, our main jock, his arm catches on fire. Right now, he's getting some special effects makeup done, but we're gonna have to make it look like his uh, Letterman jacket here uh, also caught on fire. I'm gonna start off by cutting the sleeve as irregular as possible, because fire is unpredictable. I felt like Bear Grylls when I said that. I think this is around the time that we give you a uh, do not try this at home warning. So uh, we're professionals. <laughs> feel immaculate. A lot of <laughs> so we've got this entire sequence that happens on the computer and during production we didn't really know what we were gonna do in it uh, and since then we've kind of decided let's have it be Clippy versus the AOL Running Man. Evil Clippy that is. So we actually decided to go ahead and send it over to our friend Luke who we met in college. So he's got a sequence for us to see and we're really excited to see this thing. Luke, how are you doing? Hey guys, I'm um, really excited to show you this. Um, this is my sequence. Uh, it took a lot of late nights to pull it off. So without further ado, I will send you this link and you can watch it. All right. We are so pumped to watch this, Luke. We cannot wait. Super excited. And three, two, one, let's roll it. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. It's our videos in the background, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Slightly gorier oh, no. than I expected. <laughs> it's there good. It it's amazing. It's absolutely it's awesome. amazing. It's so, it's so just it's so overwhelming. It's great. Okay. I love there's the Windows Bliss in the background. This is so just like oh, our God. childhood, right? Yeah. So it's actually funny that background. I couldn't use the original Windows Bliss background because it's copyrighted, obviously. But um, I went on Shutterstock and somebody went to the exact same field and I bought the license for it. You know. So it in those Bliss Hills, it's just not the same photo. You know, that's a thing. It's a thing where people go at that time of year and try to replicate the Bliss background on film. And like, you can never get it exact because it's just such a pristine photo. The most seen photograph ever taken. So it's cool, it's actually really amazing how accurate that is though. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Luke. 
You are a blessing. Yes. You made it possible for us to get this thing out so quickly. Yeah, well, it was super fun to work on. Um, really glad that I got to help you guys out. So can't wait to see the rest of the video. Unreal Engine honestly made this video possible. Seriously, uh, real-time rendering is the future. It's the future of VFX, and it's literally making things faster, more efficient for us, and cheaper. Unreal Engine's completely free. If you're a game dev, if you're in interactive entertainment, if you're in film, VFX, or any of those things, it is a highly useful tool in the marketplace that they have. You can download all these assets and so many of them are for free because they just give back to the community and the creators. So it's a really awesome tool and I highly recommend you check it out because you can learn it on the fly. The help docs, the resources, everything is extremely available to creators. So please check out Unreal Engine from Epic if you guys are interested in learning how to do stuff like we did for this video because we're gonna be using it a lot more from now on.